Hi everyone, welcome back to How Text. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and we're going to show you how to use the camera and video recorder. So uh, if it's not in one of your uh, default apps here, you can always just pull up the apps and find the camera, which is this one. And uh, it's pretty standard camera, obviously use the uh, white shutter button to take a photo. Uh, and then you can also zoom in the normal way uh, using the pinching and then if if you are zoomed, this index will show up here and you can also drag back and forth. As you can see, uh, even at something like seven times zoom, the picture is actually still pretty decent. Um, but there's also one more way of zooming, which is if you actually touch the shutter button and hold it and pull to the left and right, you can see there's kind of these dots here. That's actually also a zoom controller. And it's a little bit, takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, there's kind of a delay in it but uh, you can get the hang of it or you can at least zoom in and then adjust it a little bit easier here on the screen uh, and then just touch to take a picture. Uh, if you want to do a video you can just hit the red dot here and this will bring up the video record and you can see the time going here uh, and then while it's recording obviously you can zoom in and out here and you can also take still pictures by clicking on this tiny camera here and uh, also, like many other Android phones, uh, one nice feature is that you can pause your recording. So if you want to film something over here and then switch to a different area and then resume the same file, just click uh, the red dot again and the same video keeps recording as the same file rather than having multiple files. So that's really cool. Uh, and then when you're done, you just hit stop. So that's the basics. Uh, and now let's get into the, some of the cooler features. So uh, right off the bat, you can see that there's a couple icons here on this row. So there's uh, Bixby, if you want to actually take a picture or look at, um, have Bixby analyze one of your photos to see if it can re recognize something in there, you can go to that, we'll try that later. Uh, you can actually do some uh, adjustments of skin tone here or their filters. And their filters are uh, basically like a Snapchat type thing and you can just pick you know, whichever one that you want to try. And uh, the key thing with these is obviously they all re rely on recognizing a face to apply these things. Uh, but then there's also other options as well. So you can go and there's these kind of, uh, there's these different icon effects that you can add or remove. You can actually click on it and move it around. And then I guess let's see if we can add more than one. I guess it only allows you to do one. So anyway, so for me, these are kind of extraneous. I guess if you're a teenager and you really love Snapchat type effects, this might be kind of fun for a few minutes, but uh, it's kind of a useless bell and whistle to me, but your mileage may vary. Uh, let's also go up here to the top. So obviously we can switch to the front facing camera. We can adjust uh, HDR either on or off or auto. And same thing with the flash. So let's see how it looks with the flash. This is on auto, this is flash on. And obviously turned off and then settings. Here's where we get to the real meat. So you can adjust the uh, aspect ratio and basically the final file size. The full size is obviously 4000 by 3000 uh, and that's a 12 megapixel image. And then you can go down taking slightly smaller ones. It also gives you the option of saving the raw files uh, as well as JPEG. So raw is literally the uncompressed ones and zeros of each pixel, and so those can be quite large. If you're taking a lot of photos, that'll use up all your 64 gigabytes of space really fast. Uh, also, we can adjust the video size, so we can do up to UHD uh, or Quad HD, which is basically the resolution of this screen, and uh, you can do 60 frames per second FHD or 30 frames per second, and you can do, you know, Instagram sized one square videos and some lower res ones too, which obviously will take up a lot less space. So there's all kinds of warnings here on what you can't do in certain settings. So for some reason, video stabilization doesn't work in the low resolution, uh, etc. So let's just leave it here. But basically you can see that there's a lot of options. You can do tracking autofocus. This is great if you're taking video and it's people moving around. Uh, you can do a timer, obviously if you want to take selfies. Uh, front camera, you can also adjust the resolution. 
and the video four stills and video and then uh, shooting methods so you can do tap screen to take a photo you can do show palm so this is if you're taking like a selfie and uh, or you have this guy on a tripod and you want to stand in front of it so if you I guess flash your palm it'll take a picture after a few seconds uh, and then tap heart rate sensor and then all kinds of different options for on-screen grid location tagging uh, basically preview review the picture after it's taken uh, fast opening uh, where do you want to save do you want to save to SD card or not if you have one in there and then this is always the fun one voice control again if you're taking selfies you just want to say smile or cheese uh, etc so let's give this a try or you can even say record video and then floating camera button so this is actually really useful if you're holding the phone and doing a selfie you might not be able to push down here on the bottom so let's try the voice control so let's say cheese record video smile smile always fun okay so that's the basics on uh, the camera and the video camera and also some advanced settings now let's take a look at Bixby so Bixby uh, has the ability to recognize objects and if you just point it here it starts you know looking in your picture and seeing different things and you can obviously also uh, click on things and then focus on what you want it to recognize so let's see if it recognizes this and it can do either the place or image so let's see the image it should be able to recognize R2D2 okay sort of um, we're kind of hit and miss on this so it obviously recognizes that it's something from Star Wars but it thinks it's some kind of R2-D2 birthday cake. Um, so, you know, this is actually a, a, a specific product. And surprisingly, it actually did find it. This is the Bop It R2-D2. So it's definitely not perfect um, for recognizing products because it certainly isn't this, but it is actually this. So, you know, it's better than nothing, but uh, not exactly perfect. Let's try it again with... Uh, maybe with uh, Dragon Ball Z. So let's go back and take a picture of Goku. And okay, so we actually did get some Dragon Ball and I think that's actually the right guy, sort of in a similar pose. But then you get all kinds of random stuff. I guess that sort of looks like his hair. Um, so it really is kind of hit or miss. There's definitely some improvements to be made on this technology. Um, even Google image search is, is a little bit better than this, I think. So uh, let's try, last but not least, BB-8. Okay, it figured out that it's BB-8. Uh, and this is actually the right one. So this is actually that uh, remote control app enabled one by Sphero. Okay, so I guess the takeaway from this is uh, at this point with the technology, um, if you're lucky, it'll be on the first screen. It definitely won't be the first or second thing, but it might actually be on the first, you know, 10 or 15 things that you get to. So overall, not too bad. Um, and they can actually also recognize text. So let's try something with text you know, on it. So let's try it on something with some text. And it actually can bring up text. And then it gives you the option of uh, basically doing, uh, extracting the text or translating the text. So this is pretty useful if you're, say, uh, traveling and you're in a country where you can't understand the language and you want to translate a menu, for example. So let's just try uh, to select some of this text and then extract it. So uh, definitely needs some work. Obviously this is sort of one or two things is correct. The rest is mostly junk. Um, and I won't even try to translate it. Let's try taking it more straight on. Okay, that's even worse. I don't even know where the Greek is coming in. Um, let's try not auto detecting language. Let's put it into English only 
and now extract it and that's mildly better not really okay so definitely a work in progress so uh, big speed definitely needs a little bit more work so you can also go into the photo editor here and see all the photos you've taken and scroll through them and you can see again pretty decent quality so overall we like the camera we like the camcorder uh, some of these bells and whistles a little bit useless but uh, overall pretty good if you have any questions please leave a comment don't forget to give us a thumbs up and see you next time here on Howtex. Bye. Not off the presses. Uh, that's just a quick initial review um, to give our feedback. We like the display a lot. Uh, one of the main.